Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a super friendly SEO trending blog post using Writer. That's right, how to create trending blog posts using Writer. And this is something I it took me to develop. It took me about 10 months to figure this out. So I'm going to share it with you. And here we go. So the very first thing you do is you go into the dashboard and you want to go into... Now you can either go into blog ideas and outline or you can go into blog section writing. I prefer to go into blog ideas and outline because uh, it lets me, it gives me more options. Right? So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to type in the keyword or the primary keyword or topic that I like a uh, writer to write about or at least to come up with an outline for. Uh, let's go with weight loss. Right? So I'm going to type in that. All right, maybe weight loss for uh, men over 40. There we go. And then I'm going to click on start writing. It's going to go ahead and generate a outline for me. Here we go. So weight loss for men over 40, what you need to know. Introduction, weight loss for men over 40. And then the keyword, what causes weight gain. Uh, how to lose weight with health habits and the importance of losing weight with age 40 plus right and then it has all the keywords here that's great but you don't know whether or not this is easy to rank for you don't know whether or not uh, you know these keywords can gain traffic or not um, you don't know how well it will do once you publish this uh, post there's a lot of unknowns so what I suggest is instead of just going by what writer offers, I suggest going to a website called BuzzSumo. And this will show you what content is actually performing well in real time. That's what you need, real time data. So I'm going to type in the same top topic I did. I'm going to go ahead and go back in and copy this. Weight loss for men over 40. Copy this. Control C. Go into here. Control V and find content it's going to go ahead and scour the internet and show me what is actually trending what is hot right now not later and and how well it's performing all right so this is this is right, weight loss for men over 40 how to lose stubborn belly fat all right and it's uh november 7th 2021 okay then this is december 4th 2021 weight loss exercise at home for men over 40 it doesn't really it's not ex my exact keyword Right, so this has eight engagement, not too bad. Go into here, and I want to check out the article. Get out of this. All right, so now I know what you're, you're thinking. You're probably thinking, all right, so this is where you take the article and rewrite it. Wrong. You don't do that. What you do instead is you take the headings, and you copy it and then you enter it into writer okay so that's the heading one oops let me go down there let's go to heading two oops number three Number four. And what's the last one? Number five. And we'll stop right there. That's good enough. All right. So now this is kind of like the middle section of the article. Go ahead and control X. And you can you can either do your own thing, right? You can either add the head subheadings in and use as is as an outline. But I like to make it a hybrid. I like to use part of what writer suggests and part of what I found that's trending to make it into my own new product. All right? Let me delete this one. I don't think this is useful. So now I have what writer gave me the outline plus 
what I know for sure is trending, right? Real time data that's trending. And then I have you now to close it, uh, Rider as well, right? So that way I get the best of both worlds. Basically, I get uh, some kind of insurance because I want to make sure if I'm wasting time and spending time and effort and energy and money into creating a content, I want to make sure that it has as close as a guarantee as possible to ranking well. And what better way to do that is to check what ranks using Basuma and then incorporate it into my own outline and then fleshing it out. We do that by simply selecting both the uh, the heading, the subheading, and the keyword, and you click on paragraph. Okay, no need to come up with ideas, no need to type up everything, and it comes out with a very good uh, paragraph. Just remember to delete this after you're done. All right, so I'm going to delete this. All right. So it comes up with introduction, weight loss for men over 40. Weight loss can be a big challenge for men over 40. This is because the metabolism slows down after the age of 30. However, there are plenty of effective ways to lose weight without compromising on health. <laughs> Sounds amazing, right? It sounds like it was written by a human being. Then next, go ahead and do the same thing. Wait a few seconds. You're going to see this in real time. The great thing about this is that it's a web-based tool, so it doesn't rely on um, you know, the, the processing power of your computer. You can have a really junky computer and still be able to use it so long as it has connection to the Internet. All right, so then I, I went ahead and had writer you know, fill out the next section and create a paragraph on it. And it says, what are the causes of uh, weight gain? There are many theories surrounding what causes weight gain. Some people believe that the environment we live in is responsible for our weight gain. They argue that a lot of the food we consume is processed and has a high sugar content, which is why obesity rates have risen in recent years. Others argue that our lifestyle is playing a big role in obesity. All right, so... It sounds like it doesn't sound awkward. It sounds human read. It's it's amazing. It makes sense. Good connections. And then here's the catcher here. Right? Those two up here were subheadings generated by writer, but these right here are ones that we planted ourselves from the trending content. Right. So let's see how it does. Okay. So I'm gonna paragraph, and there you go. Is weight management even uh, important for men over 40? Their answer is that it depends on the individual. It is very important for those who are overweight and obese as excess weight puts men over 40 at risk for obesity related conditions such as heart disease, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes. However, weight loss is not always needed or appropriate for men over 40 who are at a healthy weight or only mildly overweight, but is, it is still beneficial for them to maintain a healthy lifestyle and engage in res uh, regular physical activity All right. makes sense sounds amazing um and and it's great so you can go ahead and do this all the way through let me go ahead and, and just do this for you real quick oops okay And two more, okay? So I want to give you a full user experience so you know exactly how to use this tool and use it well because it's only as good as the operator, right? If you don't use the tool well, it's going to be junk no matter what tool you use. So right here, I'm going to close it off. All right, so let me just go ahead and delete the keywords, okay? Okay. All right. And let's see how we did. You have nine, almost, yeah, about 900 words. And it did, It only took you a few minutes to type. No, not even to type. Just a few minutes. 900 words. And you know that it has a high possibility of trending because you've already got the content from a trending article. And it's also unique. Okay, it's very, very unique. In fact, let me show you how unique it is. So I'm going to copy everything, 
I'm going to use a third party uh, checker called Grammarly. All right, let me go into new documents. And this is not Grammarly free, this is Grammarly Pro, just to let you know. So I want to make sure you, you know the results are as accurate as possible. Control V. Uh, I'm going to just keep the, the standard settings on. All right, overall score, 82 in performance. That, that's pretty good. Okay, correctness, it has about 14 grammar issues possibly. Clarity is a bit unclear, but it's engaging. Its uh, delivery is just right. I mean, that's not bad. If you were to ask, I've got a lot of uh, freelancers that had like 50 on overall score, so 40, and I still had to pay them. Um, this this is quite amazing. All right, so let's check for the most important thing, which is plagiarism. All right, let's wait for it to load. Mm, 900 words, let's see. And it's only 9% plagiarized. So that means it's 91% unique. 91% unique using a third-party tool for 900 words. That That is amazing right here. And you know you have a high chance of ranking for this, right? Because you've already checked it with BuzzSumo. Now, if you want to go ahead and use Grammarly to, you know, increase this overall score, you, you can. You can go through ahead, go ahead and, 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 you know, modify it to make it uh, even better. Or you can use as is, right? So... That's how you create a highly trending blog post using Writer and double checking with Grammarly, which is both which is free software. So I hope this video was helpful because it, it, it took me about ten months to figure this technique out. And I, I, after I figured it out like uh, using you know BuzzSumo combined with Writer, oh wow, it, it took my blog post to the next level. Like it was it's amazing. So why reinvent the wheel? Other people went before you. Go ahead and use what they got. Don't copy what their article is. Just use their the outline, plug it into Writer, and go ahead and fill it out, flesh it out, and create your own content. Then go ahead back here, check for grammar if you need to, if you want to, and check for plagiarism. All right. And once you once you're in the clear, go ahead and post it. I mean, you, and you're gonna see amazing results. All right, guarantee. Try this for at least uh, at least seven days, and you're gonna see a lot of results from this. So this is why I I prefer Writer over other AI writers because it's you know it's affordable, it's great value for money, and you know it uses a very unique uh, algorithm like uh, the GPT three plus the proprietary software. The proprietary portion really, really helps out. Um, I'm not, a, I'm not a geek. Uh, I don't know like uh, coding language and stuff like that. But from just testing it for ten months, I, you know, looking at their the results, it's it's just amazing. Their proprietary portion of the GPT three is just amazing. All right. So, oh, and by the way, if you're interested in using AI tools to grow your small YouTube channel, I just finished a course on um, AI. YouTube small channel mastery you can go ahead and check out the link in the description below and it shows you how to use AI tools to grow your, your small YouTube channel get monetized make money and um, <clears throat> basically make sure your workflow is a lot easier right if you're interested in that you can go ahead and check it out check that out if you found this video helpful I would really appreciate it if you can hit the like button I'm Vince from digital man and suit and I will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching